Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. And in this episode I'm going to show you how I'm going to create something to make better tabletop video recordings. Now normally when I do tabletop video recordings I'm using this articulating arm. And this articulating arm uh, is something that you can, uh, when you open it, you can move it around every direction you want. And when you're pointing it in the right direction then you can just tighten it and it as strong as it can be. Now on top of this you can mount your camera and uh, this camera can then be uh, filming everything you like from above or from right from your face or that kind of thing. So you can make point of view shots with it, uh, you can make tabletop shots with it. It's a very handy feature to have uh, if you're making tabletop recordings. Now the thing is that this articulating arm has to be mounted on, uh, for example, a clamp, a clamp like this. And uh, well, you can just slide it in, uh, tighten it, and then with this clamp you can mount it to whatever you like. You can, for example, mount it to this table. Uh, which is handy, of course, if it can be mounted to the table. But this clamp can't open wide enough to be mounted on, for example, this table. So therefore, this clamp isn't always that handy. And I want to have some other way to mount it. Now, of course, I could also use a tripod like this. Uh, this is a table tripod. It's a very sturdy one, so I can use it for bigger cameras. And uh, I can use this to mount the camera and then make recordings uh, very close to the subject. But the thing is that with this uh, type of head which is mounted on this tripod, I can't make shots directly from above. So it's not very good to make that tabletop shots. Therefore, this is handy, but not that handy. We need to have something different. Now, if you take a look at what I have here, this is a weight. Uh, it's a simple dumbbell weight uh, that you use when you are working out. And uh, this is a two and a half kilogram weight. I also have them in one and a half, one and 0 0.5 kilograms. Now, these are very heavy and uh, especially when you combine them, when you combine two weights, for example, uh, then you have a very sturdy base on which you can mount for example, this articulating arm. Now, to do so, uh, you should uh, make something that it makes it possible to put this uh, stud in. But this stud won't fit directly into this arm. But the, the, the nice thing is that there is a thread inside this stud. So I can, for example, use this second stud and screw it inside this one. And with this connected to each other, uh, I have something which I can place everywhere I like. This one, actually, I can do something with, with 3D printing, so I can mount it in the inside of this uh, dumbbell weight. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this dumbbell weight and make a 3D print on which I can slide this on top. Uh, then I can also slide a second dumbbell on top. So it's very, very sturdy. It's really something that, well, it's too heavy to, uh, to flip over, for example, if I'm using a camera. So uh, I need to have something that I can uh, put this on top with, and then uh, I can use this stud to be inserted in the middle. So I'm going to make something that does this in Fusion 360. Now let's head over to Fusion 360 and see how I make this. And we are going to take our measurements to create that part. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new component, which I'm going to give a name. And that's the insert for my weights. So that's the name I'm going to give it. And uh, now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw uh, everything on the bottom layer. So the first thing I'm going to draw is the biggest circle. And that biggest circle has to be 162 millimeters. So uh, it's a very wide circle. And of course, I'm only uh, concentrating on this line so I can have my measurements there. But I'm going to type in that it's 162 millimeters. Now, when that's done, I'm going to make my 
second circle, which is going to be 12.4 millimeters. So, uh, oh, sorry, 12.4 centimeters. So 124 millimeters. Now this is also made, and I'm going to create again a center diameter circle, and this time it will be 60 millimeters. And uh, then we have to make the very last one, but this is not going to be a circle. This is going to be uh, a, where can I find it, under sketches, uh, this is going to be a polygon. And uh, I'm going to choose this and I'm going to make it 8. Now bear with me that 8 millimeters for this polygon is giving me a polygon that from here to here is 16 millimeters in width because the 8 millimeters is from this point to the side. So this is very important because uh, for a circle if I set 60 millimeters then it is from this point to there uh, is only half the, the size so it's 30 millimeters but I have to say that this circle is 60 millimeters in, uh, in, in diameter but here for this polygon you have to select this radius and this radius is only 8 millimeters to make it 16 millimeters in width. If we have this uh, this stud which we are going to use then we know that this stud is going to be uh, 50 millimeters in height so this part here has to be extruded 50 millimeters up. So this is what we know for this part. The rest is going to be depending on how big the, the shape is of my weight. So if we select a floor of 3 millimeters in thickness, uh, and I think we need that because we need that strength, uh, then uh, we have to extrude everything at least 3 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this part is a little bit bigger so it will fill uh, the measurement of the, 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 the part. Now that is going to be five millimeters higher so this has to be uh, extruded and well we can calculate it and of course we all know that five plus three is eight but in, in, in Fusion 360 you can do this uh, if you don't want to calculate you can just say five plus three and that's no problem for the program five plus three he's going to calculate it for me and now it's eight high so now i'm going to extrude this part and this part only three millimeters and this will give the correct height to everything now we created this part uh, but the stupid thing is that the stud we created can now go through all the way so uh, it can uh, pop out and we don't want that to happen so what we are now going to do is we are going to make the round shape in it as well and to do this um, we have to draw on top of this piece here so I'm going to select S center diameter circle on this piece so on the top of it and, and now we have to be very careful what we are going to extrude so I select extrude um, I have to select that outside of the circle which is pretty difficult to grab but we can manage select only this minus 23 and it's going to be joint enter and now this should not be I don't know why it does this I don't know why it fills this part as well but we'll have to fix that I don't know why it did this uh, this is a very stupid thing because I didn't select it but this is a way to handle it so the part we now created is a part which is uh, going to be 
underneath the two weights that we have and therefore we can use it as a very very simple holder uh, for everything we want to use to film uh, on a table now guys and girls take a look over here this is what i made i made this stand where i can put my uh, weights on top so it's a 3d printed stand and i have two dumbbell weights that uh, fit on top of it uh, they're not connected together but the weight is holding everything down and um, on top i've got this laterating arm uh, of articulating arm is the, the correct word for it uh, with the camera and for the camera i'm using the sony rx100 camera uh, so i can use it to well to shoot like this uh, i can use it to shoot tabletop or i can use it as a secondary camera which i put over here for example and well like this and i can place it around everything yeah everywhere i like i uh, have to maybe put it a little bit straight like this and so i got my secondary camera over there so i can talk to this camera i can talk to that camera and uh, well during the filming of this video i can decide to move it around to the other side for example uh, so I can have different shots from different angles uh, while still filming only with two cameras. So this is one camera that I'm filming with, this is the other camera that I'm filming with. And uh, well, both are filming me uh, from different angles. And uh, when I want to have another angle for filming, well, I can just slide it around and uh, well, have it uh, this angle and this is my second angle. I can do whatever I like now. So this is going to make the filmmaking a lot easier. And uh, well, I think it's very nice to have such a support like this, which you can slide around over the table, which is completely flat on the bottom side, uh, which doesn't scratch on the table. And uh, well, yeah, you can easily pick it up and put it down somewhere else. And uh, well, it's, it's very stable as you can see on the image on this camera. Uh, it's a very stable mount and well, it, it, it just works. So uh, for all the people who want to have multiple angles for video uh, and yeah, well, they just want to have something very easy. Uh, I will link all the products that I used in the description down below. This is the Manfrotto articulating arm. Uh, it's the dumbbell weights, uh, it's a special uh, uh, connector that I used, a uh, stud is it called. And well, if you have those things, then you can make this yourself and it's very, very easy. Uh, so well, yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next movie. Bye bye.